Hey guys, it's Cyrus again. So, I've been on Gen 2 for two weeks now, and I uh, just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on with it, and uh, sh uh, tell you a little bit about my experience so far. So, the initial uh, installation went pretty smoothly. You know, the documentation is very top-notch. As long as you have uh, pretty good comprehension of, uh, I, I guess you would call it technical literature, uh, then you could probably be fine installing Gentoo Linux. Um, again, they say uh, a lot of people, I try to go through uh, through this experience as, you know, objective as much as I can because you know there's a lot of stuff out there stating you know Gen 2 is like a top-notch or a uh, expert level distro and it's steep learning curve and I'm sure every all of you guys out there have heard something similar to that even with Arch Linux too so so I try to you know with blank slate uh, yeah it uh, I will have to say it is pretty much for not a new user. I considered myself a intermediate user, if that, when I was on Arch Linux. Um, so I had to learn a lot of new s stuff that I might have probably forgotten, uh, because you know once you get onto a uh, any type of distro for the longest time, you forget the initial you know hurdles that you had to go through. Um, when setting up your distro of choice, so I, I could tell you guys, uh, I you know, my first big hurdle that I had was installing um, Dropbox here. So the last time I was, I made a Gen 2 video. I was telling you guys how I was going to install NCMP CPP and Dropbox. So Dropbox took like three times just to compile it because I kept getting compiling errors that I didn't understand and you know doing my research I still couldn't figure it out so it's you know kept tugging trugging at it and finally it decided to work so luckily I got my Dropbox because now I can link all my computers on my network and my phone to one so it's nice that I can move you know files around willingly second hurdle that I ran into was my music file the NC MPC uh, you know the file so for whatever reason um, when I was on Arch I had all my files in a certain location so the NC MPCPP and my dot mpd folder was a hidden folder in my main um, on my main home folder and if I went back to arch I throw those things where it is start up mpd and it would work but for whatever reason they uh, it, this whole thing was blank so I didn't understand exactly what was going on there reinstalled a bunch of stuff uh, added MPD to the RC update default still nothing and then one day it decided to work so I don't know exactly what happened with it and then the latest one that I had issues with if we uh, open up my Thunar here I initialized so I was logging in as uh, with slim which under arch it's no longer being maintained so it's interesting to find that a lot of people use slim on Gentoo so I don't know if the project itself is being uh, not maintained or just the arch side but when logging in with slim it didn't matter if it was i3 xmonad or xfce the three that I have on here anytime I had a USB mounted I get an error message stating I didn't have authorization. 
so I thought it was my F stab so I added some a few things in my F stab kind of got it to work once every time I rebooted it didn't work to, to even do anything I had to go into XFCE because anytime I plugged this USB stick in there it uh, prompted me for my root password but for what for whatever reason any time that I was on i3 or xmonad it didn't give me that let me show you I took a screenshot of it um, so as you can see here it just said failed to mount and I have mounted it but you see it's mounted I installed udisks udisky uh, everything before so uh, yeah, and that one. So the that's been my latest one, and I, I've been noticing some interesting defaults also between Arch and Gen 2. Maybe I just don't have something configured right, but uh, if I wanted to try to reboot, I would say like restart or something like that, and it says un it's not found. I would have to type in sudo, but if I used the command in arch based off of my user everything worked so I don't know exactly uh, what the issue is uh, it's probably be the next thing I figure out but uh, so when I first moved over to Gen 2 I also wanted to do to get uh, HL window manager <clears throat> but for again for whatever reason I wanted to show you this one the last time so this is in HL, but I do have uh, Dyson, uh, as you can see here. I'm on the second version, I believe, here. And f I don't know if exactly why my bar up here is not showing up. It just doesn't di didn't do it. So I'm assuming uh, from the screenshot, this was, I don't know how long ago it was, um, obviously last week sometime but I thought you know I was looking for Dyson then Dyson here and it says 2 even though it says 0.95 R1 maybe it needs to be updated but uh, my next project is to try to get uh, HL to work so I've been on flipping between XFCE i3 and Xmonad Xmonad I got it to work just fine I think uh, there's one thing weird with my top bar here it just for whatever reason the fonts my font awesome just didn't work even though I had it installed so but uh, the big question is am I going to keep this on my machine that's a tough answer because you know I'm learning a lot but I have had to deal with so many issues so far that uh, I've been thinking about moving back to Arch just because it's taking up all of my time kinda when you know obviously I don't do it every day throughout the day it's whenever my son goes to bed which is around sometimes it could be at 8 p.m. at night and I usually tired from the day to do anything with it so I usually let a lot of stuff compile overnight and deal with it in the morning but if I can, you know, get a few more things just, uh, you know, fix like not having to type sudo reboot or sudo power off, then I'll be happy. And really, I have everything that I need on here for the most part, except for maybe one or two, um, one or two more programs that I had on Arch Linux, but. I think it's a, a very good uh, uh, distribution for sure. I am definitely, like I said in my first one, I'll probably stay on here until something explodes. And if I have to reboot, if I can't fix it within a reasonable time, then I'm probably just going to reload Arch in and eventually come back to Gen 2 when I have a better hardware because again I am on dual uh, processing so I'll, the compiling time can take a lot of time so 
I, this was just going to be like a ramble video on my Gen, Gen 2 experience so far. Um, but uh, anytime, I'm going to wait. I've been updating, deep cleaning, everything recently, just trying to get stuff set up. So hopefully my next deep clean will be next month sometime. And before I do that, I'll try to make a video as this works. Uh, I, before I forget, um, I also got 32 bit support on here which I didn't enable from the installation process so I had 256 uh, packages and that took about 9 to 13 hours just to compile everything so I think I'm very close to getting this set which it's funny because again been on this for two weeks I could have everything set and done in Arch within like two hours tops. So it's uh, quite interesting the, the, not the dynamic between the two because they're very similar but yet they're so different. So uh, let me guys know if you want me to do another i3 video. I can do like i3 blocks. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a tutorial on that or if you guys have any ideas for me. Uh, I do plan in the future, once I have a little bit more time here, um, to put... I have a first generation Raspberry Pi and I'm going to do a IRC bouncer. Uh, so that's going to be a video and then also installing Arch Linux on the Pi. Um, because again it's first generation I don't know if I want to put Gen 2 or anything else on there just because it has not as powerful processing so let me know if you guys have any um, any suggestions any things you got want me to look at and uh, I you guys have a good uh, weekend have a good uh, President's Day if you're in the States and I'll catch you guys next video